Hey guys, I just got in the Omnibus F4 Nano V4 and the Ori 32-bit 25-amp 4-in-1 ESC. These two are made to connect to each other via a small wire harness, but if you go that route, you're going to notice that your motors are not mapped correctly. Likely, motor 1 will not spin up at all, and motor 4 will spin up when you send a signal to motor 1. You'll need to do a little bit of work to get these straightened out, but I'm here to help. Alright, I'm going to spin up motor 1. You can see motor 4 comes on. Motor 2, correct. Three, correct, four, I got nothing. So we can see motor one is really motor four and motor four doesn't do anything. So here's how you fix it. If we go into the CLI and type resource, it'll give us a listing of all of the resources and we're interested in motors uh, one, two, three, and four. So motor uh, one spun up on motor four and motor four didn't do anything at all. The instructions that came with the Ori 32-bit uh, 4-in-1 uh, basically said to, to swap motors 6 and 4, so that's what we're going to do. So motor 4 is AO2 and motor 6 is AO8, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set motor 6 as AO2, which is motor 4. Alright. Now you don't see motor 4 anymore because it was disabled when overwritten with motor 6. Now I could set 4 to what 6 was set as. Uh, to swap the two, but we already know we needed to swap motors one and four. So I'm going to skip that step. I'm going to go ahead and set motor one to what six started with, and I'm going to set four to what one was set to, and everything should work. Now I think you could have skipped motor six altogether. Just make sure you have these two commands entered and press save. All right, let me go to the motors tab. Spin up motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. That's it. I hope that saved somebody out there a little bit of time. If this video helped you, please give me a thumbs up so others can find the video. And uh, please consider subscribing if you like videos like this. Thanks for watching.